this and they didn't add that and you gotta do this first, yep. you know, you're like wow. Two, 2023 Hyundai Ionic 6 and uh, the technician working on it and he's talking about the car facts and the aftermarket data for this. They, they get very little information, almost useless. Basically, he's figuring out how things go together and come apart because it's not like their other cars. Uh, if we look at the air conditioning here, if you look at it, forget the little inverter and motor and all that. But this is a heat pump system. And you see this very large heat exchanger right here. And that has the coolant tubes going to it. Here's a metering for, what is that? I don't even know what that is. Oh yeah, it's definitely a metering. How many wires are we at? We got one, two, it's a three wire connector going to what almost looks like it's a motorized, it's not a sensor. It almost looks like it's a motorized control. So in commercial, we have like Blimo controls that control uh, fluid flow and everything like that. Oh, I want to know more about this one. Uh, it's going to divert. If if I'm not, you know, blowing smoke out my own ass and I'm looking for a center shaft from this device going through here and it'll be rotating to change flow. Let's see, flow here, flow here, flow here. So we got three pipes that I can feel that by commanding this will change the flow direction either here or down that pipe from this appears to be a liquid pipe. Yes, it's a liquid pipe. Then it comes up over here. We go down a heat exchanger type. Okay, we have an internal heat exchanger right here. So we got a little short internal heat exchanger right here. You can see where the liquid line comes out there and a liquid line comes out right there. We've got a little of that going on. Then we have another one of the, let's get some part numbers. Anybody out there interested, that is, uh, here's the second one of those devices right there. There's the part number. Oh, here, here's in case this helps somebody here. Let's see, go right there. There's your uh, numbers there. So that will also, how many, let's see how many lines are coming out of this. Can I see three lines coming out of that? I'm trying to look below it. I don't see a third line. See right here, it goes through this th right here. Then it steps down to um, a small line from a large fat line to a small line. Almost, almost as if you're going from a liquid line to a suction line and you had electronic expansion valve, but I haven't seen an electronic expansion valve look like this one right here, but somebody will correct me on that, I'm sure. So we have a solenoid, an on-off solenoid right here. So we have a, a two wire there. Yep, that's a two wire connector. This is your, almost your standard solenoids you'll have on any commercial or residential HVAC or refrigeration. You notice this, what appears the expansion valve with the little cover protected from heat. And this expansion valve has three lines out of it. You got a line here, another line there, and a line right here. Going down to another control device, which appears to be the same or a little different. One, two, three wires. Okay, that has three wires. That has three wires. And I see over here, we have the slightly smaller pipe going in to this block system coming out to a larger pipe. So that is totally different. So there are so many control devices on here that all this, when you have a compressor burnout, all this will get contaminated and all these pipes going through all these sensors where there's refrigerant flow going through the expense on repairing one of these AC systems will cost the price of a small used car. And over here we have a very large accumulator over there, which we usually don't see anymore on, on cars, but on all the heat pumps you're going to start seeing them. And we've got some more going over here. 
four HVAC lines. Oh, we got four wires going here on this sensor. So I'm gonna guess they shoot in the hot gas over here for instant heat to give your heater. I have not read about one of these vehicles. This will be your hot gas. This will be your refrigeration over here on this side. And where is our compressor? And there's our big hunking compressor there. That's a big electric boy right there. For you guys who uh, wanna add AC to your car, steal one of these off or wreck one of these, but you have to apply the voltage. Yep, 2023. And what do we have for plate heat exchange? We only have this little sub cooler. See this little guy right here? So this is your refrigerant circuit. The one behind it has the plastic headers on it. That is nothing more than a glycol loop going to the plate heat exchanger. And then it looks like there's a second glycol loop. So you have two glycol loops here on two different circuits that get cooled down that go to two different plate heat exchangers because you have a plate heat exchanger there and a plate heat exchanger there. Now you have refrigerants going through these plate heat exchangers in one direction and you have glycol coolant going in the other direction. You have a massive burnout compressor and the refrigerant oil is all black. Guess where it is? It's inside these plate heat exchangers. See you guys later. Enjoy coming to a shop near you. I know, let's just shake some cans in it and get it cold. <laughs>